Hi everyone, I'm Linda Peterson. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. I am so excited to bring you this episode of Friendly Plastic TV because I'm going to be working with Friendly Plastic Pellets. I love the pellets because they are so versatile. They're paintable, they're sculptable, and they're just loads of fun to use in your mixed media projects. So this is the project we're going to be working on today. I call it a Mirage in Color. I incorporated the Friendly Plastic Face. Yes, it's made from a mold using Friendly Plastic. And then use the Friendly Plastic pellets to sculpt around it. Add a little bit of feathers and some wire and some beads for bling and you have a perfect embellishment for your mixed media project. For this project, we're going to be using the Friendly Plastic pellets. I'm also going to be using the water method, so I have an electric skillet here that's full of hot water. It's just below a simmer, about 160 to 180 degrees. I also have a little bowl of cold water to cool the plastic with. You'll need a piece of wire. This is 20 gauged steel uh, wire that is annealed, and it's just coiled into a random shape. I also have made a face out of friendly plastic pellets using this silicone mold and we have a, a video on that so if you need help learning how to use friendly plastic in molds be sure to check that out. The first thing you'll do is obviously melt your pellets so that they're easy and workable and I have some hanging out here in the hot water. You'll know that they're ready to go when they are clear and they're stretchy just like this. And so you're just going to pinch off an amount of the friendly plastic and lay that down onto, this is a nonstick work surface, and then put your wire over the top. We're actually going to sandwich this wire in between the two pieces of friendly plastic and that'll hold that in there nice and tight. Come back and get another piece of friendly plastic. And This time you are going to make um, whatever shape you like just to make it kind of asymmetrical and pretty frilly. And we're going to place this right over the wire. And all I'm going to do is gather and bunch lots of texture here. If you have a needle tool, you can come in and you can lift some of that area up. So I've added a second layer of the friendly plastic and now I'm going to embed my lady here and to make sure that she stays into this formation I'll come back get another piece of friendly plastic and go right over the top. Because I'm working pretty quickly my plastic is not cold so it will stick to itself. If you um, aren't working as quickly, that's okay. You can just have a heat gun handy and just kind of top off some of those pieces or some of those areas, melt those specific areas that uh, you want to apply more friendly plastic to. Get those nice and melted and then you can lay your plastic. So you're going to continue to just layer and embed your lady and when she's finished, when you have her looking the way you want to, you can either let her cool on her own or you can uh, cool her in a water bath and then dry her off. So once your piece is fully dry, then you can come back in and you can add color. Now you could use spray paint, acrylic paint. For those, I would apply a real quick coat of gesso first. That's a good primer so that the spray paint or the acrylic paint adheres to the friendly plastic. One of my favorite techniques, as you can see here, I've already started, is using alcohol inks because they blend so nicely, they're transparent, they blend together to make new colors, and it just gives you a beautiful effect and uh, paints on real easily too. So let's take a look here at my finished piece because there are lots and lots of different ideas here of things that you can incorporate into your own piece of mixed media art. First of all, um, I painted my girl just like you saw before with all different colors of of alcohol inks. I used some purples, greens, blues, um, kind of kept it in that bright jewel tone color palette. It was a little bright for me so what I did is I toned all of the highlighted areas down with a little bit of rub and buff, a little bit of gold leaf to kind of give them a metallic finish. I rub and buffed the face here just like you see and then I added a touch of shadow there with the uh, alcohol inks. It's not much color but it's just enough color to bring her face out.
I also added some glue, some tacky glue, and sprinkled on a little bit of beads and glitter, and added some pheasant feathers for texture. I love pheasant feathers. Have a little bit of wire mesh here. And I secured this to an Altoid tin box that I had laying around in my stash. So, you know, lots of opportunities just to create one-of-a-kind mixed-media art. Go and check out and see what's in your stash, and then challenge yourself to see what you can use to create these really cool mixed-media art girls. You're going to have so much fun digging in your stash, and I bet you're going to come up with things that you didn't even remember you had. That's going to do it for this episode of Friendly Plastic TV. Remember, if you need a little more inspiration, you can check us out on the blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. And you can catch up with us and friend us or like our page on Facebook at Friendly Plastic. We have more videos available on our YouTube channel at Friendly Plastic TV. Well, I hope you have fun incorporating Friendly Plastic pellets into your mixed media projects and I'll be back again real soon to share more tips, techniques, and ideas with Friendly Plastic.